The Essex Serpent, tell me about how this came together with Dustin. Maybe how you first heard about the project. Um, yeah, it was just last summer. Um, oh, it was like way back. Like, I, I don't remember, you know, I think just like, I don't remember like when we first heard about it, but I know that they have been so, so interesting because like we didn't, we are a couple and we weren't like trying to do something together, but somehow like people were asking for us together. So like, I don't know how or why that happened, but we were like, you know, it's cool. We should maybe, you know, try it out, see what happens. Because we were very like, you know, we were very like, we were very different composers, but we were also very like as, as, aesthetically connected. You know, we really love, you know, he has never done anything that I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I love, really genuinely love everything that he does. So I figured in that sense that we would probably, you know, connect doing it. So, yeah, they sent us the script, and we really loved the story, and uh, they hired us, and that's, yeah, our first collaboration. And what was the process like um, working with another composer on this? Because obviously, the creators of this show are reaching out to you because they want you, they have something very specific in mind from you and from Dustin. Mm -hmm. um, and a way that maybe that can work into some kind of musical idea. But I'm sure that there are slightly different musical ideas that you then had to kind of work out as you went along and said, okay, let's try this approach for this and that approach for that. So how, um, how did you identify kind of the, the best way to be co-composers on this? So what we did was to really find the sound first. So very early on, we got this Icelandic really great cellist just into the studio. And we were kind of like, just like getting this really like for the Essex, we were close miking the cello and we were getting this really special sound of it. And when we kind of like found like, okay, this is an amazing string sound. And then we also got like a viola player in and kind of like decided to base the score around that because it really fit in. Then it was very interestingly easy, like, it was really funny, it was like one theme that, you know, because like I write some themes and Dustin writes some themes and he wrote one theme and I was certain that I had written it. I was like, no, 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 I wrote this theme. He was like, no, I wrote it. I was like, no, no way. So that's how, like, combined we were in it that uh, I will always, like, recognize my own music, but somehow we were, like, really on the same page of, like... Um, creating it. it was pretty it was a little bit funny it's never happened before that i'm like certain that i wrote something that i didn't write but that's how <laughs> it was. but that particular theme you're saying dustin had wrote that for the record you're saying that dustin must have written that one yeah dustin wrote it but i was okay. convinced that i had done it because it sounded like me but right so it was yeah like really really connected in the in the process that is a great sign of a compatible musical relationship. If, uh, if it, yeah. it sounds like you're on the same page.